Welcome to Real Hi-Fi Help. Let's go in the opposite direction. I made this video recently about flipping the past labs stock sound. And just to quickly reiterate, it's uh, this video here where I basically said I didn't like the, um, the stock sound. This is what I would do to make it more natural. This is also what a lot of my friends would, would typically do to make it more accessible and within a, a, a pretty good price range. So I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what it was that I made, just so you have some context to what it is that um, I'm about to go into here. And that that's basically it. That that's what I did. That that's the video I did. So let's let's do a a different video. Let's do a, a an opposite video to what I did before, so that we don't <clears throat> try to make it more natural by taking some pretty decent, good value used past labs gear. But let's say we do this instead. We go uh, all pass laps, no full maximum pass laps into this situation here. So let me just jump into it. I'll call it a plan B. If I can find it right here, plan B. This is this is what I would do. So not all people were were happy with that video, and I thought. Hmm, that might be because they've still got a lot of that gear and they just don't like someone else like me saying, oh, that's not good gear, you should do this and this and this, yada, yada, yada. So fine, let's give them a different alternative. So instead of upgrading the, uh, the preamp from the XP20 to the XP30, let's say that you keep that. And let's say that you keep the, the monoblocks. And let's say that you also keep the the Meitner and M-Labs stuff. So just to quickly show you guys, this is the Meitner uh, m lab stuff. And um, it's basically this preamp and it's these monoblocks here, just so you have some context. But also, keep the cardless cable okay might not be the best cardless cable but just ju just keep it so what we're doing here is we're keeping it as pass labs you know native pass labs type of sound as you could get but this is what i would then do um upgrade the super power bar to this here because that's going to make a very, that's going to create a very different sound where we're going a lot more into the normal pass lab sound that you probably would hear at shows and stores and stuff like that. It would be a lot more evolved, perhaps a bit plingy, uh, a bit fake pretend hi-fi perhaps, um, but still a hell of a lot better than, than the super power bar should also be considering the the money for that and what i would then do is i would upgrade the speaker and let's just have a quick look at what i mean so the speaker was this thing here you know just to give a random example i would then say upgrade the speaker to something like an atc speaker or even better a tannoy or auto solutions or this particular bmw speaker I think that even though that's probably very expensive, I think that if you like that native pass lab sound and you don't mind that it's plingy and it's a bit vulgar, crisp and, and very focused on, on the, um, the dry part of the detail, fine, go with some of those speakers. I think that when you get some of those speakers here, those are just obvious choices to tune in more to the past lab sound. I think that if you went with speakers that were more hi-fi, more revealing, perhaps ceramic speakers or some, some really ambitious stuff, 
I think that it would still be difficult for you to kind of fully tune into that native pass lab sound. So th this is what I would do. Take something like this ATC speaker, very expensive, Tenoy speaker, perhaps a bit more voluptuous and, and nice and comfortable. Um, or this here, th this is a great value sound for a pass lab system or just like any brand that has this circa pass labs thing let's just say you have plenius or class a or mark levinson or something like that this this would fit a lot of those types of brands a lot of transistor gear especially and just very good value you know um it doesn't even cost a hell of a lot um and also looks pretty decent you know i think a lot of you know wifeys out there would approve of this um so but you could also go with this you know this um, bmw 800 d3 model i think that would be a lot better than this i i really do think that so that would solve the problem for you guys but let's just say that you're this other pass labs user you know and let's say that you've made it you've got your money or you're going on uh, you know you're going on uh, pension or, what, or whatever and you just want to get that one big crazy system and you just love pass labs but you want to go all in pass labs like how can you go all in pass labs and get that maximum pass lab sound so for you that that person that 0.01 uh, percent person out there that has that money um, this this is what what I would do if I was in that situation I would sell all of that gear monoblock preamp source uh, cardless cables just just sell it all that's what I would do and then I would get the newest uh, preamp which currently is XP um, 32 model that that's like the second highest one or i would get the uh the the very very best one this is supposed to be a hell of a lot better and i think that even a guy like me would would consider a preamp like this i think it's that good um i haven't heard it but i think it's that good but i have to be honest and say that i haven't heard the newest pass lab ski i've only heard through my friends that it's a more evolved sound it's more naturally warm so it doesn't have this um dry cut to the bone harsh data like sound like the older models you know that like if you go way way back then it was a more i was told that it was you know the older models were more basic more uh, traditional transistor gray sort of sound you know so <clears throat> this is what i would do if i was a past labs fanboy you know perhaps get the uh, the top excess preamp and then you know get these monoblocks for good value um yeah, good value and good value. In my country, we still have to pay like, uh, I don't know, 50, I think it's like, I can't remember. I think it's like 50,000 US dollars or something like that for this, you know, in my country. It's probably only half of that in the US. Um, and this year, I haven't even checked that. That, that. That's going to be crazy. But if you've got the money, do go with this and go with this. The top model and then what i would do in that situation is i would get the top audio quest niagara or gigawatt box one of those two they're both really good and they highlight this thing that pass labs likes to do and i would probably get the highest level clear sky card or whatever they're called um, cables and then i would probably mix it with some Nordust Odin power cables. That's probably Odin 2, since you anyway have money. <laughs> and then, uh, or, or if I can't get that, some top Terra Labs, which should be even better, as I've heard from friends. 
And then I would probably not even go with these extremely expensive speakers because this is extremely good value at the price. In my country, it's like 20,000 US dollars. I'm guessing in the US, it's only like 14, 15,000 US dollars, something like that. Or you could probably go with something more exclusive. I think that if you do this, then of course, yeah, I think that then you're probably maxing out the past lab sound and you're getting that completely new, fully evolved, fully fleshed out past lab sound. A, a past lab sound that, you know, most people will never, ever, ever get to hear. I can imagine that it's going to be very, as natural as past labs is ever going to be and as impressive and multi-layered and informative as past lab past labs is ever going to be up to this date of this video you know you might see this video in like five or ten years you know forward in time and of course by that time there might even be some even better models at at that time but yeah i think that even i i've written here I think that even owners of top Macintosh, Mark Levinson gear and Aquaface uh, owners, I think that even those owners would be envious of this sound because this isn't a normal past lap sound. This is just, you know, going into the extreme. And I don't think I mentioned this before, I didn't, but I would also go with source and DAC, I'll probably take DCS or playback design. That would be a really good um, pairing with pass labs. I think that that would be really, really good um, with a system of this caliber going over to this religion of sound. I mean, I don't like to admit this. I, I of course, haven't heard it, but I can really imagine that I would like this type of of sound. Uh, probably not for like forever. And I definitely don't want to pay this amount. I'm, I'm guessing, this is just me guessing. If I took this speaker and all the stuff that I mentioned in this video, I'm guessing that it would cost me at least 300,000 US dollars uh, in my country if I had to go all out on this, perhaps between three to 500,000 US dollars. That's just me guessing, but I think that's that that's a relatively good and, and fair guess. Um, perhaps I'm wrong, just correct me in the comments. Uh, you guys can can look up the uh, the prices, perhaps you guys know, but I, I think that, I think that, you know, normally I don't include past labs in like the top 10 in the world uh, of brands. But I think that if you would take this system and, and fully beef it up, I think that we are getting into a sound that is most likely a uh, top 10 brand sound in the world, you know? And perhaps if you had a really good top Aquaface system and you did things just right perhaps that would also get into the top 10 brand sound perhaps and i think that perhaps if you found the very 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 best macintosh let's just say ma12000 and you're setting it up and you've got everything you know totally maxed out uh great room everything just perfectly matched I think that that would probably also be at around this level. So yeah, I, I don't want to um, disregard, um, you know, past labs as, as not being like into the top 10 brand sound. Um, I think that at this level, when you max it out, I think that most people in the world 
would love it again with aquaface if you if you if you top that out do it just right pair it correctly i also think that most people would love that sound again with the macintosh when you get that one or two models at the top the newer stuff that i haven't tried you know the hybrid stuff um it made 12,000 and, and you max that out i think most people would would love that stuff even me so yeah I, I just wanted to to cover that because i know some of you guys don't like me you know criticizing past labs but just i just wanted to show this side of the past lab sound i've heard the older top models and i'm, I'm going from that experience i haven't heard the latest stuff but i've heard from friends that it's without a doubt better than the older top models that i've heard so take that on, on good authority um i think most people would really love that sound and yeah it probably doesn't have the integration and and the naturality and and some of the other rare stuff that you know the stuff that i like uh, the most in the world but I, I don't think that most people would would mind you know at this level you're dealing with an energy force that is so overwhelming and powerful that if you haven't heard the best of the best of the best of the best of the best i still think that this level of sound would make basically all people in the world happy so I just wanted to share that. It, 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 it's a part of hi-fi that I usually don't share on this channel. Perhaps sometimes I'm, I'm going into a bit more of a snobby direction uh, or good value at the top level or whatever you would call it. I just want to share that with you guys. And yeah, if you want to unlock my videos, um, go and, and, and into my channel, sort it by the oldest. And then just go from, from the oldest videos over to the newest videos. I think there's a lot of good stuff there that you guys could uh, use. And um, yeah, ha having said that, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. It would be fun to own one of these types of systems. Um, would I call it pretend hi-fi? <clears throat> if I had to be honest... I think this is pretend hi-fi but i also have to be completely honest and say that pretend hi-fi at this highest level set up in a way that is really impressive hell yeah you know i i, I I'll, I'll take that any day you know i'll take that any day you know I, i'd even trade in my system you know but for that type of sound because it's simply just so impressive but value wise i i would still you know want to keep my system because you know my system is only like you know one twentieth of this price and i still feel that overall the sound that i have is is better than this but again this is a very impressive sound and and yeah if you could ever go to a show or a friend or anyone who has a system like this that would also just be like really, really, really impressive. So having said that, I hope you guys uh, like this video. And uh, yeah, just something for the haters of the other video. I thought that this this other priority of, of the pass lap sound, I didn't cover that. So now I've covered that. And I think that a lot of people would really enjoy that. <laughs> Perhaps it's not within reach so that that's a different problem but i hope you guys um, enjoyed this video have a nice day